Yes, it's hard to get a job without a portfolio and it's also hard to create a good portfolio without first having a very good job. In some ways this can looks like an obstacle like for example this can be a barrier for you to enter into the design job uh, to having a good portfolio but without much experience and getting hired as a designer. You can create a portfolio and get hired as a designer without having any real time experience. You are not going to be in a real time project but some project with your team members and with your peers students or someone you all will work together to create a team portfolio so that is what is being done uh, in the institutions and others that's the same thing we are going to do if you are self teaching yourself the ux ui design in most of the companies the basic filtration that is they are go they are not going to judge you with all the abilities that you have but with a piece of paper that is certification that you are going to own. This happens in almost all the fields. Uh, at least you should have a degree or a certification, even though you could have a knowledge or not. But still, you should have a bachelor degree or a master's degree to attain some position in a company. So this is the basic criteria for getting into any job. Uh, which is related to IT. Then coming to design, you can either have a bachelor degree in design or in any other program. But based on your education, on your uh, experience that you had related to design, they are going to give you a job as a UX designer, UX UI designer. I'm into the list now that we are going to cover today. Where to find UX UI related projects if you haven't done any paid or professional UX UI work? Number two, how to tell a story or frame a story of your project in the portfolio. And number three, the most important thing that is the three projects that you should not share in your portfolio. Number four, practical ways to build your portfolio quickly and easily. Number five, best UX UI portfolios for inspirations. Okay, let's get into the first one. So there are three types of projects that you should have in your portfolio. Number one, professional redesigning of existing apps or designs. Uh, this is not a must have project. You can have if you have already done or if you got some really very good idea to change or enhance a product which is already existing. Do that only if you have such kind of idea or else uh, if you are going to just change the UI, don't do it please. That's going to be a drawback for you because if there is no much feature enhanced, new innovations and creativity is not going to be there in your application. In the redesigning application, then it's not going to work out. So you might get asked a lot of questions uh, regarding why did you redesign this just for the UI purpose or is there any basic core uh, thinking that is being done. Professional redesigning means do the research, talk to users, come up with multiple concepts, figure out various solutions and of course make it look incredible. Either you should have a, a good, a very good professional redesign project in this way or better to have your own product that you have innovated in your own idea that is you have designed in your own creativeness that will create awareness among people who are going to review this because they will also think okay this is not there this was not there this is not an existing solution it should make the reviewers think like wow what a project it would have been why how the people missed it create something that people will get mesmerized about i know this is not going to always uh, happen with everyone but still uh, real uh, thinkers a design thinking process will help you to get a good ideas really yes and third type of project is a uh, non-profit projects it's a kind of uh, it's not a kind of freelancing but you're volunteering yourself to uh, build a product with the help of your designs and maybe you can contribute a bit more on uh, design process as well that is where a non-profit freelancing type of design projects will work out so you can team up with anyone or if you really want to work with a team uh, and build something for community do that of course like maybe you can um, uh, check on with non-profit organizations if they need some applications or designs to introduce an application uh, for the people for the community you can help them by doing that you can add that in your portfolio that will also create a good impression on yourself okay uh, now done with the project how to what kind of projects we need to do okay now uh, number two what we are going to see here is how you can frame a story about your project in the portfolio so let's say if you have done some portfolio, don't say that uh, this is the design, this is the WhatsApp redesign or Instagram redesign and I have added this and these are the UI changes that I have done, I have changed this icon and don't do this mistakes please. You should explain in a proper way that how this has been come to your mind, how the problem statement you have framed, it's like where did you find the problem, how exactly did you frame it 
and how did you define that so you have to define everything that you have mentioned in your portfolio so say how you got communicated people how you chosen your target audience and why this has happened this explanation can be same as i said now when it comes to your new project or new product introduction if it is existing product you have just enhanced the changes just say that this is the problem my team has come up with my project manager has come up with have faced because they have done an interview or things with the users so they came up with this problem statement from the users so from that i have taken up to give a, give it a solution and justice for that and add a few more things about your project like our research had some sort of in surprising steps and uh, you can also add something like we have came up with all these concepts but chosen this one because of this reason so you have to build up a story throughout the journey that you have done don't explain or don't directly jump into conclusions this is the a problem that we have faced this is the solution only if there is a time crunch of like two to three minutes or five minutes left do this like if you are given with some timeline to finish off based on that you can explain otherwise you have to explain in a proper manner even a six year old child should be able to understand okay why i'm saying this we all know that few of the steps that makes really the story interesting if you're watching a film if there is no villain there is no fight there is no struggles so or there is no hard it's, it's going to happen then the who is going to be sometimes boring right in that case we have to make it interesting while even explaining about your project think that your project is a story for you a good design write up will have or the trade offs the options they have the market the revenue constraints the problems and finally the final design so it feels very interesting throughout you explain it then the next one three projects you should never put in your portfolio number one projects ended poorly so for example you haven't uh, you haven't find yourself that interesting and it might not be just for the sake of having something in your portfolio don't put anything number two usually ideated projects without any innovation as i have told earlier in the first point as i mentioned while the re redesigning any of the application you should consider that uh, you should implement any of the innovation or creativity into it so that only there is a usage of redesigning an application or else it won't worth your time to just change the uis and number three is projects you won't do it again so if you feel like that i don't touch this project again because i hate it so don't do such projects because uh, whatever the projects that you are doing you might be able to redefine it or redesign it or anything can happen in the future if you feel that way i don't want to touch this again then don't have it there in your portfolio because why i'm saying this is you don't find a proper explanation while if someone ask you to review that if you someone ask you to explain it because you even you don't have a proper explanation to it whatever you have done in that there are few of the website builders that excels at portfolio maybe you can check squarespace samplies and maybe webflow if you got to know about this you can build your website portfolio in that in these platforms if you want to soon i'll be discussing few of the uh, best portfolios that you can maybe have as an inspirations so yeah i uh, maybe in the next video or um, another video thank you so much for watching and subscribe the channel if you haven't yet okay bye bye